We have a troubleshooter special report. A Philadelphia woman says she feels like the walking dead. And with good reason, she recently found that her financial world was frozen because the government mistakenly declared her dead. Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli is here with more on this, Chad. Yes, Jim, the woman is one of thousands of people each year who find themselves wondering, how did I end up dead? She has spent weeks trying to get her life back and finally doing so after turning to the troubleshooters. <laughs> My anxiety probably shot up to, you know, like 150. Nicole Landon received a startling email from American Express last month. It says, you know, we regret to inform you and express our sincere condolences on the passing of Nicole Landon. Landon figured it was a simple mistake, but soon realized she was financially paralyzed. Her Amex was closed and her bank account was frozen. The information that I was getting said that it could snowball to my health insurance, my 401k. Obviously my job could not direct deposit any money into my account. Landon figured it would be a quick fix and beelined it to the social security office in Upper Darby. She was told it was likely a data entry error and she was placed on the so-called death master file. It's like, that's it? There's no zero accountability. She was like, yeah, somebody inputted, you know, a six instead of a three, didn't cross check your name and your date of birth, and you were marked dead. I said, when did the Social Security office kill me? I said, December 22nd. The Social Security Administration estimates roughly 12,000 people a year are mistakenly declared dead by Social Security. It released a statement to Action News saying it couldn't comment on the case, but that its records are, quote, highly accurate. Jim Francis is a consumer protection attorney. It is not an easy fix. It is a time consuming uh, endeavor, which you hope is successful at some point. And it appears Social Security not only mistakenly declares people dead, it also pays them. A 2017 federal audit found Social Security mistakenly paid $37 million in benefits to just dead veterans. Delaware Senator Tom Carper has introduced a bill to help land in and curb government waste. We need to uh, improve the quality information in the death master file of Social Security. We need to improve uh, access by other federal agencies who could use that information. Landon says she did receive one positive letter from the ordeal. Wells Fargo told her mom her student loans were forgiven, though she knows that's only until she's deemed alive once again. <laughs> I hope that, you know, that actually gets frozen out. And after we got involved, Landon says her accounts were quickly restored, but her credit did take a ding, which she's working to fix. Social Security says Landon did the right thing by immediately going to her local office. You have to bring at least one current acceptable ID, like a passport or driver's license. We have the full list on our website, website at 6abc.com. Beyond all the practical problems, it's also kind of creepy to read that you've died. You know? it, it's a little difficult to deal with. <laughs> I would imagine. Yes. Thanks very much, John.